Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Subject of my vlog today is a real live boots on the ground, $10 massage in the Philippines. Before I get started, let me welcome my viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, and your support of my channel. It's truly been amazing, and I'll never take that for granted. You know, I always check my Yahoo every morning. That's the only media that I look at. And the first thing staring at me is another mass shooting in Texas over in America. 14 children killed, one school teacher. That's the figures at the time that I'm putting out this vlog. And it just breaks my heart, man. I'm speechless, man. I've got who age children in America. And it would devastate me to get that call. And I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what to say. You know, Americans always ask me, is it safe over here in the Philippines? And I just have to smile, you know, and I tell them, you know, it's safe for me. I don't know you personally. I don't know your lifestyle. I don't know what you're into. But the Philippines is certainly safe for me. And I'm glad I made the decision to come here in December of 2018 to spend the rest of my life. I'll go back to America, I will, to visit my children and grandchildren, but never to live, and I can say never. But I wanted to share with you today a real life boots on the ground $10 massage in the Philippines, because you hear a lot of people talking about it, but they never really show it. And this is where I think my vlogs differ from a lot of other vlogs. Remember, I'm not in my garage in Florida sitting in front of a green screen telling you about the Philippines. I'm boots on the ground here. I live in here. I'm living here. I'm sharing with you my real life experiences. It don't get any better than that. In hopes that when you come over here, your trip will be more enjoyable and above all things safer. I usually get my massages from Nuat Thai, N-U-A-T-T-H-A-I, but there's many places here. And even if you're in the province, usually you can get one of the shaman or one of the, I don't know what they really call them. I kind of call them quack doctors, not out of disrespect, but it's just what we call them because they're unlicensed doctors. I had one down in Zamboanga and he would give me a two hour massage. I'd pay him 400 pesos because normally he'd only charge 200 pesos. And he did an extremely good job because one of the comments was, was it a man or a woman that gave me a massage? It really doesn't matter. Men and women give great massages over here. Now one thing you do have to be on the lookout for because from 2009, when I got my first massage here in the Philippines, all the way until now, there's been just a, a multitude, I would say, of new massage parlors. And a lot of them just hire people off the street to take advantage of the, the market. Because it was a growing market pre-pandemic. But I never in my life received a massage until I started coming over in 2009. I was staying in Cebu City in a hotel and I saw the advertisement. It was $250, 250 pesos, I'm sorry, for a one hour massage. I couldn't believe it. You know, at that time it was like $5. And I was like, well, let me see what this is all about. Oh man, I've been hooked ever since. Now there's three type of massages that you can have performed over here. I usually get the Swedish, but they have the native Filipino massage and the Thai massage, but both of those are kind of too rough for me. It's a lot of contortion going on, a lot of twisting and bending, and it's really uncomfortable because one place in Manila I received a, it's like a mixed massage, and I didn't know what it was, but it was. It was Swedish, native, and then the Thai, man. And I didn't enjoy it. I mean, they put you in positions that you it's uncomfortable. You're not used to, man. Especially if you're not in real good shape. But I get the Swedish, and if she's a good 
masseuse, or he's a good masseuse, the minute he puts his hands on you, he's going to ask you, is this too hard? Is it too soft? And you tell him, I usually get medium exertion. And it removes all the stress, man, all the strain, the mental stress, really. Because I don't work over here, man. I, I got a great life over here. The Philippines, in my opinion, is one of the great expat destinations in the world. And I'm trying to promote it as a vacation spot. And this is just one of the reasons. Where in the world, where else in the world can you get a $5 massage? Now, this massage cost me $10 because the specialist came to our hotel room. Not only was it $10, but I also gave her 150 peso, which is $3 tip because she's really good. She's not one of these people taking advantage of the market. And what you can't see, and I will tell you, is Merlin sitting off to the side. See, Merlin used to give me a massage every single night. But once Booby was born, it's taking up all her time and all her energy. So she doesn't do it anymore. But every woman that I've had the pleasure of having a relationship with over here in the Philippines, after they go and see me have a massage a few times, they'll take over because they're kind of jealous and they don't want another woman rubbing on you. And you're sitting there half naked. But they typically do that. Now, what she'll do, most of this video, she's doing just my back. Because this is an hour service. And of course, I didn't want to bore you with a whole hour. But after a certain amount of time, I guess 30 minutes or whatever, then they'll flip you over on your stomach and they'll do the front side. And man, when they do your head and all of that, I mean, it's just really relaxing, man. I, I, that's the only word I can... Uh, say to kind of describe it. It actually rejuvenates you, man. It, it re-energizes you. You ready to, to face, you know, the rest of the day. And I usually judge the masseuse on whether or not I go to sleep or not. If I go to sleep, they're good. If I don't, something's missing. But if you ever go into a place and the young lady's just rubbing oil on you because she's new or the young man, just tell them to stop and ask for another professional because they'll do that. Because remember, it's been flooded with a lot of new massage parlors, a lot of new specialists. They're taking advantage of this growing market. It's very, very popular over here. And if I was somebody in the West and you're saying, well, you're looking for an opportunity over here in the Philippines. Because I didn't come here to work. But, you know, I can't tell you not to work. I can't tell you not to look for an opportunity that you may be able to take advantage of. But if you're a real live masseuse and you're experienced, your services will probably be valued over here. I was getting a massage every single day when I first started and someone told me, said, Calvin, you know, that's not good. You can get a blood clot, blah, blah, blah. I never got a blood clot, but he put that seed of doubt in my mind. And so I, I started doing it every other day. Living in San Carlos City, there's not a massage parlors there. Is there a masseuse there? Probably, probably is because even if you don't live in one of the main cities, there's usually a shaman or what I'll call them quack doctors. And I don't call them that out of disrespect. I just call them that because they're unlicensed medical practitioners. So I call them quack doctors. There's usually one or two or four in the province and they do an exceptional job. I had one down in Zamboanga. He would give me a two hour massage for 400 pesos. That's about $8 because he normally charges 200 and I'll just tip him the other 200. But if you come to the Philippines, you have to get this done. And this is a real live boots on the ground, $10 massage, there's no hanky panky involved. This is a true professional, this lady is right here. And I would have never 
disrespect anybody like that by asking for a happy ending or anything like that. Because I'm pretty sure there's places here where you can have that done, but <clears throat> I don't indulge in that kind of thing. But you can see this lady's really, really good. I mean, I'm asleep already. And I'm probably only about 10 minutes into the massage. I mean, she really put me into a deep sleep. And maybe because of all that travel. That's why I say, man, if you come over here, you've had that long flight. You're tired, man. You're worn out. You're stressed. Usually the hotel or pension house that you're staying will have a massage service or a massage parlor that's connected to them some kind of way and they they can call them and tell them come to your room typically it's six dollars if you get it on the street you go to new at ties uh, office or i don't know what you would call it the studio it's usually six dollars i mean but you can't beat that in louisville kentucky at the ymca which is the only place i ever even considered getting a massage it's 60 U.S. dollars per hour. So that would be, right now, that would be 3,000 pesos. Here, you're getting one for about 300 pesos, so about 10 times less. And it's just as relaxing. It's just as uh, rejuvenating. And see, Filipinos, they have those small, soft hands. They can get into those muscles that a lot of the Westerners with those big hands, they can't, they can't get into. But yeah, I just wanted to share this experience with you. You know, I share my life with you guys. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, you share too much, but really I don't. I'm just a regular Joe over here talking to regular Joes. And a lot of times, some of the suggestions I give or some of the topics I come up with, they, they're controversial and people push back, but that's okay. See, our mother taught us to think for ourselves. And it's something that's helped me throughout my life. See, I got out of line a long time ago. Another thing I was taught that if you see, just because you see everybody else doing something doesn't mean that's the right thing to do. A lot of times if you do the opposite of what you see in every, what you see everybody else doing, you're probably gonna be well on your way to being successful. But I share my experiences with you. I'm actually over here in the Philippines because I want you to come over here. I promote the Philippines as an expat destination, a retirement destination, but also a vacation spot too, man. It's so many once in a lifetime destinations over here. So many different experiences. This is just one of them. But you can't, I can't show you this if I'm in my garage in Florida, if I'm sitting on my couch in Houston, Texas. I can only share this with you because I'm actually boots on the ground here in the Philippines. I think it just gives the vloggers in the Philippines more credibility. And I respect the vloggers, no matter how many subscribers, no matter how many views you got, if you're actually talking about the Philippines and you're in the Philippines and you're sharing your Philippine experience, I gotta respect you for that. But a lot of the guys who are somewhere else talking about the Philippines, man, get a life, guys, really. I think you're shortchanging your viewers and subscribers. You're not really giving them the real life Philippine experience in my humble opinion. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Just another different video that I try to provide. For the last 20 minutes, 20 months, I've been sharing my whole entire life with you over in the Philippines. I hope that you come over here and experience some of the same things that I've experienced and more. So if you're in America, it's late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, I hope you find somebody to help. But if you're on one of them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break and you see somebody out in the street, I'm something to eat, but I'm something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's early, it's about 6.30 a.m. We're here in Bacolod City at the Circle Inn. About to drink me a coffee, get my day started. We ate 
dinner at Gunny's All American Burgers yesterday, and man, I tell you, it's some of the best American or Western cuisine that I've had in all of my 13 years in the Philippines. If you're in Bacala City, you have to stop by there. Today we'll have our electronic community pantry giveaway. Now the day goes by that I don't help somebody over here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. Pray for the victims, man, of that mass shooting over there. It's one of the reasons why I left America, man. I just felt, I just had this feeling of impending doom. And I'm so glad that I jumped off that hamster wheel and I came over here, man. Guys, listen to this before I get off here. There is no right time. Take care.